Hello there, Charles Ford here. Um, I want to do a little demo on putting together a chimney sweep brush. So I've got one of the tops here. It's got the uh, polypropylene um, broom bristles all stuck in it. It's got three layers of uh, Luon discs there, all um, uh, uh, Gorilla glued together. It's got a four inch, a uh, long quarter inch bolt that goes from the top to a nut here and then out the end. I've wrapped some gaff tape around it uh, because that way it'll give some friction and when the uh, self-tapping uh, screws go into it, uh, it'll give something, Some it, a lot of times it'll just grab that and hold, hold it nice and tight and so that they don't come loose. So. Here I've got three-quarter inch um, electrical conduit. Uh, this has already been spray painted black because I was using it for another project. Uh, but it's just the thin wall uh, metal conduit. There we go. Uh, and it's, it's actually fairly easy to uh, drill holes and screw into. So, let's see. Right. So the first thing I'm going to do is drill just a little bit with a, a drill bit. This is like, I don't know, about an eighth inch or so, something like that. Just going to drill a little spot here, just a starting spot, just to make a little divot there so that the uh, self-tapping screw has something to go into. It's so round, it's hard for them to get a start. Uh, this is a three-quarter inch uh, self-tapping screw. You can see by the flat head on it, it looks like two little paddle blades on it. Uh, the stuff I'm using is uh, Tex, T-E-K-S, three-quarter inch, looks like that. And so I'm going to put at least two. I, I was putting three in. Um, okay, if this will hold still in the vise. When it goes, it just kind of goes all of a sudden. Oops. It's almost through. Oh, there it goes, yeah. It was, it was basically through. It just kind of wanted to pop out. So I'm going to jam the head all the way down into the pipe. And then I'm going to run the screw down into it. There we go. It's a self-tapping screw, and that means it's actually created some threads into the metal. Not very much, but a little bit. So, so it's actually um, cut threads into it, so it holds really well. That one, actually, man, that got it really good. So that did really well. I'm going to put a second one in just to be safe. Um, like I said, when I did it, uh, our choreographer had very violent, crazy dancing in it. So I'm going to go down about three quarters of an inch or so. Drill a hole. Or drill it. Not drill a hole, but... Drill a little divot so that the... Uh, so that the uh, tech screw doesn't slide all around the surface so much. It'll drive you crazy. Um, here we go. So, here we go. Okay. It's through. All right. Ooh, that's nice. So it angled off of the bolt, which is really nice, because at an angle, it is not going to let that bolt come loose. It is going to hold it in there. The two of those are going to hold it in there 
nice and tight. Um, our chimney sweeps, uh, when they were in certain parts of the dance, they would actually kind of throw these off uh, on the floor. None of them ever broke. Uh, some they, they will lose a few bristles the first time you use them, but um, right after that, uh, I didn't have any problem. We didn't sweep any of them up after really the first rehearsal. So that is in there really nice and tight. Um, they were so energetic with these that the only problem I had was uh, they were like jumping over them and things like that and the, the metal itself would bend and then it would have to go in and just kind of put it over your knee and bend it back straight again. Um, and that was about it and, and they really worked well. And on stage they look very nice indeed. Uh, and um, you know you can they'll they can run into other people with them they won't cut their costumes uh, they won't poke people's eyes out or anything like that and when they spin around on stage they they look pretty cool uh, I like the thin rod um, just because it to me it looked more like a chimney sweep brush and uh, you could use a, a thicker rod if you wanted to the uh, the thicker diameter um, uh, uh, electrical conduit could also work and I just sprayed it with a flat black spray paint is all I did and it's about ooh, three feet long or so something like that if it's too long then if they're spinning them around stuff they tend to whack everybody with them and things like that if they're too short they look silly so but this ended up looking really nice on stage with a bunch of chimney sweeps using these